Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. Would you believe it or not, the FNAF news kind of dead yet again. It's it's unfortunate, uh, but that doesn't mean we don't have things to talk about. Today, we're going to be focusing on FNAF AR, their photo booth challenge that just ended. They announced the winners today. I'll go over that. The unlikely scenario that we'll be getting a brand new character this week, which is so mind-bogglingly stupid, and also some leaked emails that we need to talk about. You'll see I did a little bunny ears right there because they're not really that important, but some people are making them out to be more important than they are, than they should be, and there's also a lot of, you know, um, miscommunication between what's, like, what they're about. Not miscommunication, misunderstanding about what they are. So, let's not waste any more time. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. You know, something else that is mind-bogglingly stupid is that the majority of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. Can you believe that? It is quite unfortunate, and it does break my heart. So if you are one of those persons, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me, and it really does help me out. We're getting, we're getting so close to 15k, and I have something special planned for 15k. So thanks for clicking on the video, subscribe, smash the like, and let's hop into it. Oh, that, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Literally a minute ago, as I started recording this, FNAF AR put out, um, the splash screen for Toy Freddy coming back. Okay, I guess we'll talk about this now. <laughs> what perfect timing, Toy Freddy. Yeah, so Toy Freddy apparently is back permanently in the game. We knew this was gonna happen. We also know that it's gonna happen for Mangle. I don't know why they didn't put this up sooner, I guess to pad... Um, the, the, the content that they have for this event. So I would not be surprised if very soon we also get a splash, uh, screen from Mangle saying that they are also back permanently in the game. So yeah, uh, there was that little bonus news literally a minute ago. That's insane. So yeah, the photo booth challenge for FNAF AR ended today and they announced the winners. I'll put up pictures of the winners on screen. Congratulations, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoy your prizes. They say that they're going to do another one in March and that time it'll be themed around something. I'm guessing maybe like St. Patrick's Day, so I'm sure if you don't have Shamrock Freddy, you're guaranteed to lose. I don't know if by themed they mean, you know, again, like I said, St. Patrick's Day, March, Irish, all that good stuff, or if it's going to be use this group of animatronics, use this group of, you know, animatronic skins. I don't know, we're just going to have to wait and see in March. Then they put out a tweet yesterday saying, without you, heart sick baby is feeling blue. Won't you drop by the Heart Stoppers event to show your love is true? And then they have some reminders. You can get tokens up until the 25th of February at 4 p.m. PST. And the event will officially end on the 4th of March at 4 p.m. PST. So it seems like... Even though they had so many weeks in this event, right? Uh, but we only got two skins in it, and we got an email. It seems like we're not getting a character, which is so unfortunate, and it actually makes me a little bit upset at a Lumix. I know, I know. Good, Johnny, make, you know, they gotta actually put time into the character. They gotta, you know, work on it. They can't just pump out a character every single week. Then they would, then they would be dog crap. I know. I'm just saying. They had this whole event, not on, okay. <laughs> I would've been fine if we got like another, like fucking skin. But the fact that they released two skins on the same day, you only got one of their lows and we got nothing else for the entire event. Bruh, like what are you doing? What did you do over your break? They really gotta get people back into the game. And if they are gone for an entire month, then they come back and in that next month after their month off, they only released two skins in an entire event? Like, that's not getting people back into the game. Like, I again, I'm not trying to, like, pressure them into making a character, but, like, even my dogs are pissed. Like, where's the character? Of course, I don't want character after character after character because then they're just gonna end up being terrible. But, like, we need content in this game. And something else I just realized is that they, like, they played us like a goddamn fiddle, like a kazoo, like a Cassidy Golden Kazoo with the email that they sent out, which, again, we all thought was gonna be for Funtime Freddy or Lefty or Ennard or Molten Freddy, whoever. You know, the one that said roses are red, violets are blue, is your front door unlocked, we're coming for you. Your friends are afraid and you should be too. Before you, before you know it, we'll be right next to you. We thought it was gonna be for one of those dudes because it said where as in a plural entity but now it's kicked in is that this is for toy freddy and mangle not a new not a new character which is so like honestly dumb like they've never done something like that 
Yes, they have released emails for brand new characters, which is why we thought that the email was for a brand new character. But they've never done it for a returning character that is coming back to be a permanent addition to the roster. Like Toy Chica, like Toy Bonnie, they didn't tease them coming to the game, oh my god, permanently with an email. They just, they didn't do that, so why do it now to get our hopes up? It's just, like, I really do question what Illumix does for their choices. Like, why, dude? Like, oh my god. I think that's their trick, is to just, like, get the community all riled up, like, Oh, we're getting a new character! Holy Jesus Christ! Uh, and then just pump out absolute dog crap, so... Yeah, that's my little dunk on Illumix for this video. Anyways, enough of that, let's just move on to the final topic of the video. Okay, so try to keep up with me, and I'll try to keep up with myself, because this section of the video is going to be very confusing, because we're talking about stuff that is in the game, but at the same time is not in the game. So if you are unaware, there were two email addresses that were leaked that have been in the game uh, for quite a while now, actually. It's speculated that they were supposed to be in the game around the Halloween event with all the Jacko characters and Plush Trap, um, but then the emails with the email addresses never came out for, for an unknown reason. I'm actually scrolling through right now, and I'm finding more stuff that hasn't been talked about, but I'll, I'll save that for after we talk about these two email addresses. So I'll put them up on screen right now. One of them is mftn at bigbearmails.net, and then the last one is hcrofton at bigbearmails.net. Now again, I'm gonna try and make this as clear to you guys as possible. These, as uh, right now, they have no link to the game itself, they have no emails attached to the email addresses, and they're just right now not linked to anything, so don't try to make all this a big deal, if that makes any sense, because so far, they're not doing anything. They're in the game, yes, but they're not doing anything. <laughs> There's a total of like four, as far as I'm aware. We'll talk about these two right now. So clearly, the first one is of Michael Afton. That is his email address for Big Bear's Mails. Wow, what a great email address. And then the last one, I honestly don't know who this could be. Um, the only character that I think of that starts with an H is Henry, but Henry's last name is Emily. So unless in the game universe he has a different last name than his names in the books, that's the only idea I can think of. If you guys have any ideas yourselves, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I would love to read through them. And apparently, there's another email address that is of Elizabeth. I'm just now hearing about this. I'll leave a, a link down to the Twitter thread that I'm finding these in. Um down in the description below. Mazio corrected a few of my mistakes when I first tweeted about this because I did not have nearly as much information as they do right now. So again, go go check them out. And apparently there was also a scrapped email address for Jeremy. I'm guessing that this is Jeremy from the, you know, the FNAF VR game and not Jeremy Fitzgerald from FNAF 2. It would make sense if that was him, uh, the one who worked for Fazbear Entertainment and the one who helped develop the VR game because, I mean, not only is he probably the only one alive at this point. Well, actually he died, but you understand what I mean. At this point in the timeline, he's the only one that would, around that time, still be alive, but then he died, okay? And also he worked for Fazbear Entertainment directly instead of just being a, you know, security guard. There we have a few more email addresses for Andrea, Ben R, and Jilta. And according to Mars, this is a scrapped plotline for the game in which an anonymous user is sending you insider info about the functionality of this special delivery service. And it says, okay, got something for you. I managed to hack part of the networking addressing system being used by Fazbear Entertainment's mainframe, and man, is it wild. The logic loops are like spaghetti. Hmm, could this be a hint to Molten Freddy coming to FNAF AR? Probably not. Uh, I did manage to find out one thing though. It looks like the mainframe system of deploying animatronics out to customers is completely automated with no human input whatsoever. It also looks like someone put in some real dubious looking AI routines into the system. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with that, right? GK42. So again, thanks Moz for the information. I had no clue about the majority of this. I just knew about the first two emails. So it's interesting to know that it goes you know, more in depth. Like, what are these email addresses? Were they even meant for the game or were they meant for testing it? Like, why didn't they see the light of day? I don't know. I have so many questions that 
will probably never be answered. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, again, since I didn't know about the majority of that info, I didn't expect this video to be so long. So, hey, if you made it to the end, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching. Again, sorry uploads have been a bit slow. There's, they're just, there's, there's no FNAF news right now, so I can't really, can't really make videos. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.